Patricia, good to talk to you this Ben, morning. how are you? I'm doing good. So, you are uh, uh, Bruce's sister, a good friend of mine. Yeah. I've known Bruce for 21 years. And I didn't know about your story until about a month and a half ago. And as soon as I heard it, I got all excited. I said, you've got to share this with my listeners. So tell us real quickly a little bit about yourself, and then tell us about uh, how you started, how the, uh, how the uh, disease started, how you were diagnosed, and some of the early things that happened to you. And then we'll okay. get into how you took care of it. Well, I'm 63 years, years old. You're I've young. I've had MS since I was approximately 28 years old. Okay, so that's 35 and years. It's, yeah. A long, long time. And basically what I do is manage the disease since there is no known cure for it. I manage it. Um, and I do certain things to manage my disease. I do lots of exercise. Well, no, no, Patricia, we'll get to that in a second. I want to hear how it started and, and what, how it developed and what made you notice it and then okay. you know, the beginnings uh, of it. Well, I, went, I was about 28 years old, and I was having a surprise party for my husband. I was really stressed out about it. And in the middle of the party, I went to speak and say something, and the words were in my mind, and I couldn't speak. And never had anything like that happen before? No, it was really frightening. Wow. And, and you were healthy? I really wanted to, you know, talk were you with healthy? my friends. Patricia, were, I, you a healthy, were you a healthy girl and, and all that? And absolutely, you know? yes. Okay. So this yes. came out of the middle of nowhere? Right out of nowhere. It was really, really frightening. And I thought, boy, what an odd thing that was. It really scared me. But, you know, I calmed down, and I got through the party, and everything was fine. It was just a fleeting thing. And then I would say about the, a year later, I had a hard time walking. Hmm. And it was during a time that I was stressed out. Stress is a major factor in all of this. And um, I couldn't walk. My foot was dragging behind me. Wow. It was really, really frightening. And you're only 29 years old at this time? At this yeah. Point? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So you and I was to... always very athletic, and this just came out of the blue. I had no control over my body anymore. Wow. Really so you scary. Go, you go to the doctor. You go to a neurologist? Or what, what? Right. I went to a few doctors, and some doctors just said, hmm, that's odd. That was their reaction. Did That's they put you on medication? Odd. Did you get the no, no, no medication. They just really didn't know what to do. They had no idea. So one, per, one doctor said, you must be really nervous. <sighs> and I was like, well, I may be nervous, but that's not normal wow. to lose control of walking. Now, so and are you, is it degenerating? I didn't know what to do. Is it degenerating? Really and getting afraid. Worse? Is it getting worse and degenerating? Or is yeah, it yeah. So okay. then eventually I couldn't write. I couldn't do handwriting of any type. At the, I worked in an office. I had to write and type all day, and I had no control over my fingers or wow. my hands. Oh, my gosh. Totally numb or up and down my arms and down my legs. So what's going and through your head? What's going through your head? You must have been totally terrified. I was terrified, terrified. Wow. So eventually I lost sight in my one in my left oh eye. Oh my gosh. How old are you now? How old at this point? Sixty three. Well no, no, when no, this no. happened yeah. I was about thirty. So you're so only... this has been going on for a few years at this point. Wow. And you're starting so, to you're, you're going blind now. Yes. In oh one eye. Totally blind. Oh my goodness. So I rushed to the eye doctor. He sent me to a specialist, a neurologist, and the neurologist told me I think, I'm not sure, but I think you have MS. Wow. So he sent me to have an MRI done, and three doctors later agreed that I had MS. Now, how did they diagnose the MS? Um, well, it's just from the MRI. Okay. They so can was... see the scarring on your oh. brain tissue. Okay. Okay, so because I guess you have, like, myelin... Covering right. right. And they see the myelin nerves. is damaged. They could see the myelin is damaged. Yes, they could see it. And now, are you having any digestive health issues at this point? Any food problems? No, uh -uh. nothing. Nothing with food. Nothing. Okay. I did have trouble going to the bathroom, and most well, people with MS do have that. By the way. Okay, constipation. All right. Yeah. So did you yeah. did you have a history of it growing up, or did it just no, start with the no, MS? Nothing. It kind of it kind of came along with the multiple with the MS symptoms. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so, so you're 30. So I worked in an office, a large office. I worked for a large corporation. So community, you do a lot of talking and speaking. And oh, well, every once in a while, I couldn't talk. And I had bosses that I was going to respond to their questions, and nothing would come out of my mouth, and they would look at me kind of funny, like, what's wrong with you? Wait a minute, you'd open your mouth and no sound would come out? Nothing. Oh, my. So you must have felt like you were trapped in your body, like you were a yeah, prisoner inside I did. your body. Holy so cow. I, when I got the diagnosis of MS, I was kind of relieved, because at least I knew what it was. Uh-huh. It was an so, odd kind of feeling. So did they try to treat it, they, pharmacologically? Yeah, or yeah, they What did they, they do? Did. What, what did they, do? Um, they mainly told me, stay away, don't be stressed out. Okay, nice. Um, stay out of extreme heat, anything over 90 degrees. Okay. Stay out of the heat, stay in air conditioning, and when it's very, very cold, stay out of the cold. That was their I, that was their protocol for taking care yes. of the MS. Uh -huh. it, that was it. it. No yes. drugs? No. Uh -uh. They, didn't, they didn't give any drugs? Not yet. Okay. So, so, you know, then I thought, well, I guess I'm on my own in this because they really didn't tell me too much. Um, so I thought, well, you know, I'm going to do yoga. I had been, I always had been exercising, but I thought, you know what, I'm really going to get serious about exercising now because, well, I, I think when you, when you have something like this happens, your natural, um, inclination is to pull back and not do anything. Interesting. And Hang tight. Uh, Trish, Trish, we got to take a break. Hang tight. Hold that thought, okay? I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We are talking to Patricia Black. She healed herself of multiple sclerosis. She was a 10 at one time, and now she's down to a 1 in terms of her symptoms. We'll, uh, we'll talk to Patricia about how she actually addressed her problem. Without medicines, without doctors, without drugs. I'm Pharmacist Ben. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. -E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99,
Go to proflowers.com. Click the blue microphone in the top right corner and enter code PLOW. That's proflowers.com. Click the mic and enter code P-L-O-W. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side talking to Patricia Black. She healed herself of multiple sclerosis. Uh, Patricia, continue on. Your last you were talking about, uh, so you're, you're blind now, or blind in one eye. You decide to take yoga and uh, pr- proceed. This is, you're 32 years old, right? Way. That, when, that disappeared after three months. Okay. I, it's a very strange disease, I know. So then I started thinking, well, you know, I, I don't want my muscles to atrophy because this is a di- disease that involves balance and strength. It challenges your balance and strength. So I thought, you know what? Yoga would be perfect for um, dealing with strength issues for your muscles and dealing with balance issues. Okay. And that's why I started to, to do yoga. It was the only thing that worked. And in the beginning, when I started to really stretch my muscles, it was so painful then. Oh, my God. Wow. It was awful. But then eventually it, the pain started to go away, and I started to get really strong. Wow. It was amazing. It's like my body bounced back. Wow. So you I went never, from... I never saw anything like that. You went so from falling apart. Now, you, went, you went from falling apart to now your body's actually feeling strong? Yeah. Right. Wow. From doing yoga. It's, it's Hatha yoga, so it's deep breathing yoga. I do it every single day. Still? For at least 45 minutes. Still? Every day. Seven day days a week. Day out. Wow. Right. And so I do that every day. I do speed walking. Not heavy-duty speed walking, but just enough to keep my coordination, just keep me fit. And my main goal is to keep coordinated and Andy. to stay balanced all the time. Because with MS, you, you really can't walk. You become crippled. Did you have to quit your job? No. Uh-uh. You, you still maintained nope. working all through your 30s and 40s? It was still really working. tough, but, yeah, I did it. And would you say, how long would you say it took for you to go from, from the real depths of your MS? To, yeah, when I was really, really sick. Yeah, to start to make... My, my healthy state now. Yeah, how long? I would say about five years. So you went from really terrible MS to being really, really healthy bad, with, blind, within five years. Couldn't walk. Yeah. Healthier, healthier than healthier than before you had the MS. Yes. Yes. Wow. Healthier Absolutely. than your friends. Do you think you were healthier and stronger than your friends? Well, yes, I do. But let me tell you, I worked for a large corporation, and we had a lot of people who had MS in my huh. building. Okay. There were thousands of people in my building. And word got around of people who had MS, and we would get together and talk about it. And we found that the people who exercised were better than the people who were taking heavy-duty drugs. No kidding. So exercise was a better medicate. Exercise Absolutely. Was better. Yes. How interesting. Yeah. Now, In how fact, about... I had one, uh, one friend who had MS, and she was uh, an exercise teacher at night after work. With MS? Yes. She was an exercise teacher with multiple sclerosis. Yes, That's absolutely. Amazing. 
Now, how about, where's the, tell us about the food component. Or the, there must have been 